sit in front here. You know what I like about him? He knows himself. When I said fine man, he didn't turn around. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and we bless your name. We worship you. We glorify your name. Lord, we ask that as your word is preached, that we will understand. And that Lord will put into practice the things we will hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody read Proverbs 22, verse 7. 22, verse 7. Quickly, and somebody go to Amplified Version, 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 1. But Proverbs 22, verse 7, can somebody read it? The rich ruler over the poor. Yes. And the borrower is selling to the lender. Please, your Liberian phonetics is too fast. <laughs> Take it slowly. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is selling to the lender. Can somebody read it in another version? Yes. Yes, sir. Read us. Poor people are slaves. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 7. Poor people are slaves of the rich. Borrow money and you are the lender's slave. Praise the Lord. Amen. Am I the one that wrote that Bible? No. He said that the poor people are slaves to the rich. And that a lender is a is it a borrower, a lender? I don't know that grammar very well. A lender is a slave to the person who borrows to him. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Read it again. A borrower is a slave to the... The readers. <laughs> Poor people are slaves of the rich. Borrow money and you are the lender's slave. You are the lender's slave. Yeah. Okay. If you borrow money from somebody, you are the slave of the person who has lended to you. Yeah. Second Kings chapter 4, 1 to 2 in the Amplified Bible. Chapter 4, 1 to 2. It's to seven that you are supposed to read, or just 1 to 2. Amplified Bible. You have an Amplified Bible? Yes. Now they cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be born men. Verse 2. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Then hand me have not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. That's not amplified, but thank you. The next person with an amplified Bible, let me read from. Please come, come and read it for me. No, this is King James. No, come and read from my, my pad. I want you to read so that they won't think I wrote this Bible. <laughs> Second Kings chapter 4, 1 and 2. Second Kings chapter 4. And when you came, and when you come in, no, second Kings four, from verse one. Okay. Elisha said to her, "What shall I do for you? Tell me. What have you of slave? How what have you of sale value? Please say that again. What have you of sale value? Continue. In the house, she said, your husband have nothing in the house." Except a jar of oil. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please clap for him. We are looking at grace for dominion. And we are taking it to reality. Spirituality sometimes can make you become a lunatic. You don't have money in your pocket. They say, How are you, sir? I'm rich. No, you don't have money in your pocket. Sometimes let's be realistic. Am I right? Yes. Jesus said, he who is sick has need for a physician. Mm -hmm. You are sick. They say, doctor is living there. No, 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 I'm well, I'm well. Let's balance this thing. There are times we need to come down 
to reality. Uh, Bishop, <laughs> the Bible is saying that our topic is grace for dominion. But the Bible is saying that a poor person is a slave. That means if you are poor, you don't have the grace for dominion. Thank you. Let's realize this. Let's be realistic. Because Karl Marx said that religion is the opium of the people. Opium is an euphoric thing that you take and just be. It says, he who is poor is a slave. Does a slave have dominion? No. It says, he who borrows money from somebody, who goes to borrow money from somebody, that he is a slave to the lender. Now, in 2 Kings chapter 4, so if you are poor here, African countries that are poor, they don't have dominion. Yes. That's why our presidents can't take decisions on their own. And let me tell you here, many of you who are still working for people, you are still slaves. That's why you are called civil servant. Many people are not here now. They are supposed to be here. Please don't be offended with me. I'm just preaching the truth as it is in the Bible. Thank God you have a pastor who says it as he believes it. There are people who are supposed to be here now, but they are not here because work has kept them away. I am able to be here because I employ myself. Are you listening to me? In 2 Kings chapter 4 from verse 1, here was the wife of a prophet. So anointing was present. The prophet was anointed. So anointing alone cannot take you away from being a slave. Anointing alone will not make you have dominion. Yes, sir. That's right. It is, I'm just telling you, is it not here? The servant, don't look at me like that. The sons, imagine somebody coming to take favor and glory to be slaves. That means their father did not have grace or dominion if his children are going to slavery. I owed a debt I couldn't pay and I needed someone. We were in bondage in sin and because our father has enough to pay, Jesus came to die for us and set us free. Yes. That's why we are having the grace for dominion. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. This man was anointed a prophet, walked with somebody like Idahosa, Elijah. And now, Pastor uh, Joseph, who is Elijah, has come. Eh? So, anointing was not enough. That's right. To prevent them from being slaves. Anointing it. We are looking at me as if I'm preaching false doctrine. Is he not here? No. Yeah. Okay. You are a Bible scholar. Am I preaching something out, outside the Bible? No. Is it? <laughs> that somebody who is owing is a slave. Is that true? Yes. That's where we read in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 7. Now, the sons of a prophet are being taken into slavery. That means anointing alone could not prevent them from being taken into bondage. That means anointing alone was not enough for dominion. That's right. This is a simple logic. I don't know why I'm stressing myself. It's just that you people in Australia, you didn't go to school enough. Well, you have good food, man. <laughs> I went for a cruise to go and look at dolphins. Pastor. The Bible says that the man feared the Lord. The wife was not complaining. He said, my husband feared you. And Pastor Ken Joseph has taught us that when we are righteous and fear you, that we will exercise dominion. The Bible says the righteous man shall eat the fruit of his labor. The this man eat the fruit of his labor. Sometimes when you are stupid, scriptures get broken over your head. A lawyer who cannot interpret the constitution will go to jail. 
Okay, listen, please. In the Bible, there are the following P's. Number one, personalities. Jesus, Holy Spirit, God the Father. In the Bible, there are patriarchs, another P. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, Jacob. Huh? In the Bible, there are practices, circumcision, dedication of children. In the Bible, there are places, altar, another P. But in the Bible, there are principles. Sister K, listen. If, a, if, a, if an unbeliever, a Muslim, knows the principles of the Bible and applies them, he will get more results than a Christian who does not know them, only that he will not make heaven. That's why the richest black man is a Muslim. The richest man in Asia is either a Hindu or a Buddhist. The richest man in the world is a nominal Christian. He doesn't speak in tongues. His name is Carlos Slim. The richest in America is Bill Gates. We don't know whether he's a Christian or not. Where are the Christians? In a short while, if care is not taken, the richest man in Australia will either be a Chinese or an Indian. They are buying Indians and buying the old facilities. <laughs> America wrote in their money, in God we trust, and America is going to China. Uganda, well, let me not be <laughs> right. Are you following what you are you following? Yes, yes, yes. The woman now cried to Elisha as if the promises of God have failed. My husband is a prophet, has anointing. Number two, my husband feared the Lord. Number three, my husband served you. And you have been telling us if we serve, if we do this, we'll do this, we'll be rich. How come my children are being taken into slavery? And Elisha asked her a simple question. The day I found this in the Amplified Bible, don't read one Bible. Gather, I have close to 10 to 11 Bibles. If I read one passage, I read it here, I read it here, so that you are not easily deceived. In the Amplified Bible, which was compiled by a woman like him, the Amplified Bible was compiled by a woman, like as Dix is a man. Elisha asks, what have you of sale value? Sale value. What you can sell. Yes. Hmm. Until you start selling, you are, you are not exercising dominion. You are a slave. That is sad. Any person who is employed, let me tell you why. I, I, I'm not insulting you, I'm just teaching you the truth. But if you are angry with me, I always go with enough money. <laughs> see, 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 see my bag of coins. <laughs> I'm prepared. The boys can't want to say they prepared. Huh? This is just coins, so. <laughs> But there are no sense in here. <laughs> because of our time. Until you start selling. But you know, all of us sell. That's why they pay you per hour. You know, the minimum per hour, you are selling your life. When you sell six hours and they pay you three thousand dollars, you have sold. That is the value of your life of six hours out of your life is three thousand dollars. You are trading your life. But those who are rich sell properties, sell goods. You cannot work for somebody and be rich unless you're a thief. Pastor's wife, Sister K, what do you sell? Mama K, what do you sell? Is there any product you sell from your house? Is there any day you wake up and somebody comes to buy something from you? No. You, you are from which country? Liberia, look at your face. <laughs> is there, go behind, is there anything somebody comes to buy from you daily? No. This is a prophet. That means you are either in F O O L time minutes. Let me say this to Sister Kevin. 
the white person will understand. <laughs> you are either in F O O L time ministry. F U W L. No. I went to a good school. <laughs> I went. My school was established by the British after eating college. My principal was a white person. I went to a good school. I came. F O O L time ministry is what? Fool. F U L L time ministry. You are either in F O O L time ministry or you are F U L L time ministry. That prophet was in F O O L time ministry. He said, teach us to number our days, all right? That we may apply our hearts to wisdom. How long will you sell your time? Mm, mm, mm. What? I am glad that not all of you are here. If you, because we need to still keep employing people. When we get rich, we employ some people who are not here. I have five drivers. I'm a pastor. This is Elisha asking. Is Elisha a bad preacher? Wow. What? What? Don't look at me like that. What have you of sale value in your house? You know the problem with the black man is that we are the ones only always buying. You bought this from white man. 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 You bought this from a white man. You bought this from a white man. Even your name is from a white man. So you are a poor person. True. You know why you cannot, why your why ends cannot meet? You will buy tissue paper. You buy tomatoes. You buy pepper. You buy salt. You pay rent. You buy, you pay for water. You pay for school fees. You do this. You do that. It's your money keeps going out. You are like a basket that is being used to fetch water. <laughs> I know you are very angry with me, but you are the moderator, so don't be angry. Wow, that's powerful. It's powerful. Yes. <laughs> what, what have you of sale value? Until you have what you are selling. I will teach you along these days. You can pay tight and still be poor. They don't teach this in Bible school. So don't. If you must be rich. You must indulge in the following forms of sales. One. The dining table economy. If you have heard of that, if you have heard of it, I give you a thousand dollars. CK Prahala. You have not heard of it. Go to the internet, browse everything and say. CK Prahala is, a, is an Indian who was a professor of economics in Michigan University. He said, if you can produce something that people will demand on a daily basis, people will use on a daily basis in small quantities for that you will be a rich man, particularly those who live on less than two dollars a day, and that is four billion human beings. Food, any person that produces what people eat on a daily basis can never be poor. That's why Dangote, a Muslim, is the richest black man on earth. Why? He produces sugar. He produces salt. He produces macaroni. He produces flour. And so in Nigeria, with a population of 117 million people, every day we eat bread, money goes to a Muslim. And money is an idiot. It has no religion. If a Muslim is wiser than you, your Christian money will go to a Muslim's pocket. He produces sugar. Any day you drink coke, eight cubes of sugar are inside. You drink Fanta. Any day you eat biscuit, you eat his sugar. Why are you looking at me like that? Every 
woman that cooks in Nigeria, every woman that cooks in Nigeria, every day, both bishops and every other person contribute to the wealth of Nambote. What are the richest companies in the world? Number one, McDonald's. McDonald's is one of the richest companies in the world. Food. Lipton. Food. Starbucks. Food. You live in Smithfield. Go and browse in the internet. Smithfield feeds. Browse in the internet. Type Smithfield feeds. It's a Christian family. Joseph W. Luther I, Joseph W. Luther II, and now Joseph W. Luther III. They produce pork. They slaughter more than, they have more than one million pigs. They make an income of 11.1 .1 billion. Go to the internet, browse Baghdash ice cream parlor. There's a family that has been producing ice cream since 1895. Till today, they are still producing ice cream. Go to the internet, browse Cadbury. Cadbury started as a family business. The word Bonvita is from a village they founded in the UK, Bonville. The family. Go to the internet and browse. Uh, uh, who, 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 what will I talk about now? Any food company, Magvite, Quaker Oats, any company that any anything that deals with food, you can never be poor. Do you know? I don't know. In, in Nigeria. A bottle of water is more expensive than a bottle of oil, than a liter of oil. So whoever is producing water in Nigeria is richer than a refinery. Come. If I, I was coming from the border in Liberia, I mean Sierra Leone and Liberia, through the Maori River, you will see somebody planting palm trees. Palm trees. A liter of palm oil is more expensive than a liter of crude. If, how much is a liter of crude? A gallon of a, a drum of crude is fifty something dollars now. But a, four liters of palm oil is more than like forty dollars. Now that you are young, instead of buying big cars here, buy big land at home and plant palm trees mm. and put an oil mill, you will be rich to old age. You will not come and work in Australia again. Don't spend your money on cars and fashion here. That is stupidity. Are you listening to me? Yes. yes. Ma'am, if this church had a poultry that produces 3,000 eggs every day, is there anything that prevents this church from owning a poultry I went to Claire today in the suburbs. If you had a poultry when you started this church in 1970 something, that is producing 3,000 eggs, number one, you will employ people. Am I right? Number two, you will feed people. Number three, you will get money. And let me talk, no, when I'm talking, I see. My canteen alone can employ a graduate in Nigeria. I have a canteen. I have 1,000 suckers of plantain. My plantain produces two at once. And I produce plantain chips that I sell to my students. I sell sugarcane. I have sugarcane. I, I, I don't buy gare. I have a cassava farm. I don't buy fish. I have a fish farm in my compound, a fish pond in my compound, catfish. Do you know you can export catfish to China? You know how much is a kilogram of fish? Do you know somebody is producing tilapia in Liberia in, in, in tanks? It's called the, 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 the poultry of the water. And your soil is fertile. Very fertile. Why are you looking at me like that? I produce ice cream 
in my in my house. As I'm preaching to you now, money is entering my account. Because 520, uh, 558, 580 something children in my school, if they spend only uh, $1 a day, imagine how many dollars I get a day from the children. They buy water, they buy ice cream, they buy potato chips. I produce potato chips. I produce popcorn in my house. I cook rice in my house. Put in place and sell to my students. That's why I'm not a poor pastor. That's why I'm a rich pastor. Only my canteen is paying the loan I took from cooperative. My canteen alone, let's use a round figure. 15,000 naira is about how many dollars? A hundred dollars, not so. A hundred dollars. If I get a hundred dollars just like that every day without, I don't work, somebody, another woman does it. And the machine I used to do, assuming you, you, you find somewhere you can put a popcorn making machine in this town and just be selling popcorn. Get one of your Liberian young boys who has no job to be selling the popcorn somewhere. And Mama, why are you scratching your neck? There are regulations in Australia over some of those things. You can't just do that. You say? Yeah, there's regulations on a lot of those things. You just can't just go. You don't do just that. can't. There is no country in the world where things are done freely, including Nigeria. We have NAFTA. You understand? And if you are waiting until things you can just do, there's nothing. You don't just get pregnant. You don't even, even if you want to kill yourself, if you fail, they will send you to jail for wanting to take your own life. Yes. You know the problem with prayer? Prayer makes us lazy if we don't know principles. The black man always transfers responsibility to God and the devil. Now, Elisha is asking, what is it? There's nothing that prevents you from rearing, from registering a farm. Here, in Nigeria, Equa, the uh, Evangelical Church of West Africa, they have farm. There are several churches that own farm. All the farms I saw in uh, Clare and I saw in uh, wherever I went to now, I saw small golden farms, I saw sheep, several sheep. How those people got the license? Get it. The difference between the poor and the rich is that the poor give excuses. This woman was saying that, uh, you know, my servant served you, my master served you. No, no, no. The disciple said, uh, 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 the, servant, the, the people are so many, 4,000 of them. It will, not, it will take more than a, a, a month, a salary of 10 months or whatever. This one doesn't like excuses. I don't just register. You know how much it takes me to register a school? You know how much I spend when they come and inspect my school in Nigeria? This whole building, this, this whole place is not up to my primary school site. This is your whole land. And I bought it expensively. If you are willing and obedient. The problem with Christians is that they put obedience before willingness. The prodigal son and the senior son who ate more out of life. The prodigal son. The senior son was obedient but not willing. That's why God liked Jacob. Jacob had will. He was fighting from the womb. Because God knew that Israel would be in a bad neighborhood with Arabs. They needed somebody that. Somebody say food. Oh. Say it again. Oh. Oh. If you cannot produce, distribute. If you cannot produce, distribute food. If you cannot distribute.
street food. Oh. You see Chinese restaurant. I saw an Italian restaurant in Claire. I saw Indian on the other side. Does it make sense? Where I went to take ferry now, at uh, take a cruise boat, if somebody just puts a uh, shawarma, every person entering the ferry, buying shawarma to enter, just one thing. Inside the ferry, somebody is cooking inside. They give you two tickets. Anything that has to do with food, just establish an African restaurant somewhere in this city. You cook Sierra Leonean food, you cook Gambian uh, Nigerian food, you cook um, uh, Ethiopian food. You will make money. There's a woman in Johannesburg in a place called Hebra. That's where we go to eat uh, African food. One plate of food is 10 times what it, 20 times what it is in Nigeria. Are you listening to me here? Yes. Are you listening to me? Does it make sense? Yes. Just look at the dining table. What is it? If you can't do it here, when you get money, buy large land at home. I met somebody who was born in 1970 in my country. Outside where I want to put my polytechnic, he bought 100 acres. And there are places in Liberia and Syria where you see large expanse of land. Bought 100 acres and planted palm trees. After three, four years, the said year. By the time I met him in March last year, he had 672 jerry cans of 20 liters of palm oil. He kept them till September. By September, he had about 2,000. One jerry can sells at about 6,000, and that's 12 million from palm oil. And the thing with, uh, with, with the inevitable economy, when you are sleeping, your product is growing. When I'm sleeping, my fishes are growing. I want you to take your mind back home. That is one of the things you can retire into. You can't take uh, the aged can't take care of the aged. When you are old here, you can't take care of aged people. Am I talking to you? Yeah. Don't be angry with me. I'm not the one who wrote the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking about business. <laughs> You're just thinking, eh? School. The next thing after the digital economy is anything that has to do with education. Anything that has to do with education. You see, the Catholics must have school. Have you noticed that? Huh? Anywhere in the world, the Catholics must have school. Madagascar, Sudan, South Sudan. In fact, when I went to South Sudan, I was surprised. The Catholic, seven, the Catholic nuns there, they established a nursery school. You know what they did? They opened a canteen there. It is the canteen that they get money from to pay the teachers. I ate in the canteen. Anything that has to do with school, education. I started my school with five students. Just think of somewhere you come from, Liberia, Sierra Leone, anywhere. You go back from the experience you have now, build a fine school. You have seen distances. You see how fine these churches. Just build a fine school. Get some equipment from here. My chairs in my library are nearly like this, my, my school library. My classrooms are tiled. My toilets are like, my school toilets are like this one. My building, the, my house is not yet complete. But I tiled my school classrooms. If you see the hostel I'm building, I tiled the toilets from up down. And I'm going to charge them. Inside my school, I have the five buses that carry 200 and something children. Each child pays 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira is how much in dollars? Ten thousand naira, eighty dollars, times two hundred and something children. Multiply it. 
I sew uniforms for them. They pay me for the uniforms. I make sweaters for them. And because you have come to Australia here, and you have access to good products, clothes they are very nice. You can produce their uniforms from here. You can take the pattern from here. Or, even if you go to Liberia, the woman producing their uniforms for me. It's a, one is an engineer, one is a nurse midwife. Just to produce uniforms. The one producing sweaters for me, learn how to make sweaters here, pullover. The machine to make pullovers is very cheap. Just get the machines to make pullovers. Get home during your holidays, train people how to make pullovers. And you are producing pullovers for schools with the design of the name of the school written on it. Is it the machine to produce chalk? You know chalk finishes. You have a machine that can produce chalk. Just think of something that schools use. I have a printing press that prints exercise books for us. I will sell. My wife bought, bought a seven-seater Nissan Pathfinder Jeep 4.0 from her books. My son became a millionaire from publishing books. We produce our exercise books. We produce our drawing books. Anything that has to do with school. If you can get a printing press, a second-hand printing press from here or from the UK or from Lagos or from anywhere and start a printing press that is printing books and exercise books in Sierra Leone, you will never be poor. Never. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you know I established the word of faith school? They gave me only 52,000 naira. How much is 52,000 naira in dollars? But do you know, in two years, that school was richer than the church? But we'll soon close. I'm watching today. Do you know that when people's money starts coming into your pocket as school fees, they are buying food from you, they are buying uniform from you. You know, you know in my school, we make the, we have PE uniforms for them. We have the normal uniform, we have jeans skirt and jeans short and t-shirt and my ties, I produce them from China. So the parents will bring money for books. Every week when school resumes, I sell more than half a million naira of books. From books. When 500 and something children come and buy books. not breathing well. Brethren, I made up my mind to raise one million millionaires in Africa. Because we cannot continue like this. And when I went to Romania, it's the same thing. I saw white people driving taxis. I saw white people managing life. You can't put on the lights. Just eat it up. Just off it because of bills. <laughs> Did you tell them that I, I preached truth? Did you tell them? You told them if I came in. Bills. Bills. It's a sweaty cotton. Bills. You can't use the hot water. Bills. You're catching point. You can't put water in your bills. That's why. <laughs> What's your name, sir? <laughs> Nobody's excited today. Oh, yeah. Tell them to shine your eye. <laughs> Tell them to move out and don't pass. <laughs> Anyhow, don't change cars.
cars anyhow, bring them. <laughs> Buy cars with profit, I'll come and teach you that later. Cars have expiring dates. Immediately you buy them. The value starts going down. But buildings increase in value. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm allowing it to sink. Okay. If you don't write books, don't, you are not my friend. It's not enough to stand here and teach and teach these deep mysteries. You can't put them in a book. They publish them. That way we will find them. I will head you. I have a king in my office. I flog pastors. I flog General Lovasia. I came with five books, you know that? In your house there. I didn't sleep throughout the night. After drinking ginseng coffee. I was editing, I was editing books. You know I was selling ginseng coffee before? Ginseng red yeast, shake off. Head man. Am I not preaching well? The woman smiled is very far. Madam, please come. She smiled a different department. Now it's good, it's circumcision. After circumcision, you go to the next one. Just think about Liberia. Think about Nigeria. Think about, think about uh, uh, um, Ma uh, Malaysia. Malaysia. Think about here. Yeah, books, anything that has to do with books. People will need where to buy books. They will need where to do this. They will need where to whatever. Anything that has to do with education. Do you know how much they pay me to lecture? I made sure that I went to do a master's in public administration plus Bible. Because if I wait for church people like that, I will die. You found me. Are you not coming for the program? <laughs> My husband just came from what? Me, doctor. Oh, for me. Me. You don't. It's, it's because of you I'm here. You know me now. I'm gone. Just came. I saw only you. Gone. No man bar can bluff me. Because without you plus you, I live my life. Where are you? Where are you now? Daddy. <laughs> The way the man preached yesterday, uh, daddy, the way you talked yesterday, you just looked at me and you mentioned uh, my father's name. The way you said, you said Liberia is Liberia. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> my state government called me so I should come and give a lecture uh, on uh, uh, ethics and etiquette based medical practice, a new frontier for effective health care delivery. I told them you pay me per hour when I charge them plus hotel. When they pay me, you go. No. Our electricity generating company called me. Are you Dr. Apoka? I say yes. Are you the writer of Monies and Egypt? I say yes. He said, come and give us a lecture on stress management. I told them so, so, so amount per hour. When I finished lecturing them, for two days, all the electric bills I paid since I was born, I collected the back. <laughs> Study to show. Horrible. Listen, break it down, break it down, break it down. <laughs> Study to show. Yes. <laughs> approved. Said, you must be approved as a workman. Yeah, that need not to be ashamed. That need not be disgraced <laughs> because you have grace for dominion. Yes. I finished preaching with an American. He told me to sit on his lap. Okay, blew his mind. Have you ever seen what have you of silver in the Bible before? Have you not been reading this passage? Yeah. Right? Blew the mind of the America. You see, knowledge in this generation is powerful. It is what you know that your mate does not know that makes his money come into your pocket. Wow. <laughs> Let's stand up for prayer. This woman, this woman is rushing ahead. What 
what we started now. Yeah. That's the way you can know her. I know. No, I know. No, I'm following her. She's, her mind is very far. She's planning. Please, don't lament for wasted days. Yes. It will not be beneficial to you. Mm. It was at the age of 40 that I learned this thing. Because when I'm going to teach you about real estate tomorrow, some of you will start weeping about the monies you have wasted. Yes, Africa, they don't give us time. <laughs> see your fine shoes, see your very fine shoes. <laughs> don't sleep on. But that's, that's the difference between you and uh, that was why we brought you. Mm -hmm. Is it not leadership, friend? Mm -hmm. On every aspect. Brethren. Right. What I am sharing with you, don't play with this. Think. I told you about the napkin. Did I tell you about the napkin? Oh, they are at the head of Jesus. Think. Africans who don't think deep enough. The Chinese and the Indians think deeper than us. The white man thinks deeper than us. And until we start thinking, well, if we stop thinking, we start thinking. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't bring the DVDs for wealth. I'll check whether I have three at home. Start thinking back home and start looking around here. Holy Ghost, do it again. Do it again. something. Have you seen him? Somebody dwelling in your heart. You want to see him sitting? sitting. The only person that saw him standing died. The only <laughs> Don't mind me. Bro. I preach my Bible from the back. The only person that saw Jesus standing, they stoned him to death. You want to die? Holy Ghost. Do it again. Do it again. Wait, I'm the choir master. In my life, I open my eyes to see business. Yeah. Yeah. This woman's husband was a prophet. He used to hear from God. He used to see heaven. But he did not see the pot of oil that could have changed him and made him a denominator. Seeing Jesus on the throne will not put bread in the basket. No. No. See what will help you. I prophesy upon no. you. Your eyes shall be open. No. That thing that will give you wealth. That thing that will prevent you from owing. That thing that will prevent you from borrowing. That thing that will prevent you from laboring for others. Mm. And people will start laboring for you. Amen. Your eyes will see it. My son became a millionaire at 22. He had his own company before he left university. From these things I'm sharing with you. Tomorrow, we will go deeper. Stretch your right hands forward. Say, this is my hands. Yes, my hands. You are not only to receive salary. You are not only to receive salary. From this year, From this year you will pay salaries to people. Pay salaries to people. This, is my hand. this is my hand. It's not for buying and buying and buying. It's not for buying and buying and buying. The time to receive has come. The time to receive has come. People will pay into my hand. People will pay into my hand. Money will wake me up. Money will wake me up. Money will meet money in my hand. Money will meet money in my hand. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen. amen. You know what a Jew told a black man? Matthew Ashimolo. A Jew told Matthew Ashimolo. 
He said, the difference between we, the Jews, and you people, he said, when money reaches our hand, it goes around seven times before it goes out. He said, but you black people, when money enters your hand, it immediately leaves your hand to go to another race. This is produced by 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 another race. Your soap is produced by another race. Your nail cutter is produced by another race. Your pant is produced by another race. Your tissue paper is produced by another race. The language I'm speaking is produced by another race. The car you're going to drive home is produced by another race. The gasoline is produced by another race. So we are, we are, we are like leaking baskets. Until people start paying into Africa, until Africans start being patronized, we will not exercise dominion. God bless you. Put your hands together. Please, um, the word of God. The Bible said, forever, O oh God, our word is settled. You see, one thing, if you hear the word of God, allow Holy Ghost to explain it to you. You will see that there is always a way. What our Father has taught us today, if we will only believe, believe me. You see, the man, Archbishop Bessie House, please, something happened in Malaysia. I came to Malaysia with one man, one pastor. I was the one that God was really using because I started a prayer with his demon freezer and the demon freezer was flourishing. But this man, any breakthrough we have, he will just, so anything he see, he will tell people, buy for me, buy for me. So one day he came and was, they said, they asked us to pick books. You need to see this young man. He was dragging as if he was going to sell him. Pick this one, 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 because he's free. I wanted to pick mine. God said, remember your call is faith. Don't pick healing. Pick wisdom. Pick Idika. Concentrate on, read only books of faith. Specialize on faith. You can't, if you want to know everything, every, you want to be in every aspect in the Bible, you want to be like me. And no man shall see me and live. Hold the one I have given you. Only one, faith. Read books about great men of faith. Don't pick everything. Otherwise, you'll be confused. Church, let me tell you, anywhere I read in the Bible, the only thing I see is faith. You know why I pick it. This message you have now, please don't try to use your arithmetic formula of human wisdom to check it. Whether we are in Australia or whether it's going to cost us, no. Let me advise you go home, pray about it, and say, God, explain to me, open my eyes, and you will see the Lord will see you through. Amen. Amen. The school where my wife did her. Certificate 3 in HK. I went to the school and I discovered the school is building a school learning center 10 kilometers to where I was born in my village, Australian school. You know what? That's why I'm reading disability, diploma in disability. Me and my wife has planned that we are going to buy land near the school and build what? Dormitory. Are you getting the point now? It doesn't matter how long it's going to take us. That's for our retirement. They are building Australian school 10 kilometers to where I was born. Me and my wife, we have written letter to the, our village. We have told them everything. They are ready to give us land. Everything we'll be saving now will be to build that hostel. And they have started, they started this year, they put Boho now, Australian Equals, Equals, you know, Equals College. They, they started the school. 
Now, why am I reading it again? Because church of commission, you serve 35 years. You retire. Though when you retire, they will pay you like 10 years salary. So that you use it and do whatever you want to do. But after that, what will I be doing? And I've, I'm already almost 20 years. I've served almost 20 years. So I have less than 15 years now. So when I finish with Shutter Commission, where am I going? Are you getting the point now? Yes. So immediately we caught that vision. That's our habit now. I'm going to learn everything about disability so that I will be teaching there. I told my wife, if only will you help me build a hostel and I'll become a lecturer there as one of the board of directors. I will be paying your ticket every time to go and visit your children in Australia. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> but for me, I'll be... Are you getting the point? I got into that school, I caught that vision. There are so many opportunities, but during my cities, please, let me tell you something about business. I hope you're not recording it. Cut it, please.